Exploration Films. Check us out on the web at explorationfilms.com. Oh, missed it. Those dragonflies are really fast. You ever wonder why they call them dragons? It's because of their fierce jaws. Check this out. The dragonfly is a remarkable hunter. It can swoop down on its prey at speeds over 20 miles per hour. Its wing design gives it incredible flying ability. And with eyes that can spot its prey at over 40 feet, very few will escape. A dragonfly, they live in the water as the larvae. And they might be in the water for one to two years as larvae. And they're down there and they're eating little fish and they'll eat tadpoles. And you know, sometimes there's a bunch of tadpoles here and here comes a, a dragonfly larva and it catches one and eats it. And that little one that it is eating puts out some kind of a signal that makes the other tadpoles in the area turn a little different color so that they can swim faster and get away from a dragonfly larva. I mean, no way that evolution has the answer for those kinds of things. Sikorsky, that invented the helicopter, it is said that he studied dragonflies and got his ideas for helicopters. Well, a dragonfly has two sets of wings, and the front set of wings, if he's flying forward, that will give him his lift, and the back set of wings gives him his propulsion, what pushes him. But they can fly backwards. And when a dragonfly flies backwards, now the back set of wings lifts, and the front set of wings pushes. So he is absolutely reversing what the muscles do when he flies backwards, and he can do it in an instant. He can fly up, stop, and fly back. As far as I know, they're the only insect that when they turn, their whole body turns. So they're like, if they're flying straight, you look, their whole body's straight, their abdomen's straight. Now they're gonna bank around a turn. That means that the upper wings or the outside wings, compared to the inside wings on the curve, they're doing two different things now. So he's working his wings in two different ways on the opposite sides of his body. And the wings themselves. Why don't those little frail wings on a dragonfly just collapse? You can see right through them, they're like paper thin. God built little channels through those wings that might be one one hundredth of an inch. They add all kinds of strength to it. They have cells that are thicker at the tips of the wings so that when it is flying, the wings don't flutter. That's a miracle. I, I don't know how else to explain that. Exploration Films, where curious truths and uncommon minds meet.